हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर्स चैनल एस टी एल टी इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग टूडे हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट आर्थिंग सिस्टम पार्ट फाइव लेट स्टार्ट कैलकुलेशन ऑफ साइज ऑफ आर्थिंग कॉन्डक्टर द पी कॉन्डक्टर साइज इन स्क्वायर एम एम can be calculated from the formula below s is equal to root over i f square into t s divided by k i f means fault current in ampere s is equal to size of earthing conductor in square mm t s is equal to time taken by the protective gear to isolate the faulty section k is equal to factor taking account of the heat capacity of the conductor material initial and final temperature rise here material and here material constant k about gi material constant k is equal to 80 for copper 205 for aluminum 126 example calculation for the required gi earthing conductor for 20 kilo ampere fault current at fault clearing time 0.5 second s is equal to 20 kilo ampere means 20000 ampere 20000 whole square into 0.5 divided uh, root over divided by 80 square mm again s is equal to 20000 into 0.707 divided by 80 square mm s is equal to 176.8 square mm applying factor of safety 1.5 we get 1.5 into uh, 176.8 is equal to 265.2 square mm so we can use available 50 into 6 mm gi strip so we can use available 50 into 6 mm gi strip okay next here it is earthing grid in ht and est substation high fault currents occurs when a fault conditions occurs in a substation then the flow of high fault current dissipates into the ground through the low impedance path of earthing grid the earthing grid is used as an electric connection that is located to the earth generally at a distance 0.6 meter below the ground level almost at zero potential it is constructed in a form of mesh of size 4 meter by 5 meter by 32 mm to 40 mm dia circular steel ms rod or 65 into 10 mm gi strip below ground level minimum at a depth of 0.6 meter the crossings of the conductor are welded the grid is connected to several electrodes spike vertically driven at interval shown in figure later the minimum numbers of vertical electrodes are determined by 
maximum value of fault current divided by 500. So, minimum numbers of vertical electrodes is equal to IF divided by 500. The design of grid depends on one maximum ground fault current, two resistivity of soil, three fault clearing time, four area covered by substation. All non current uh, all non current carrying metallic parts such as metal structure 7 by 12 SWG standard wire gauge shielding wire building steel transformer tanks circuit breakers are connected with grid by not less than two numbers of risers of 50 into 6 mm GI strip okay next The neutral of power transformer is connected with two numbers of separate electrodes shown in figure. For this connection, plate electrodes are preferred. Individual lighting arrestor is also connected with individual electrodes. Here also plate electrodes are preferred. But one question should be maintained that the neutral arcing of transformer and of lightning lightning arrestors should not be connected with main earthing grid if the earthing electrode of lightning arrestor is connected to the grid then the lightning surge voltage of high peak value may get a low impedance path through the grid to several electrical apparatus through their neutral path such like CT, PT, power transformer before they dissipate to earth at zero potential. And the insulation of these apparatus may damage. Same also applicable for power transformer neutral earthing also. If it is connected to grid, then if any type of high, of high peak value of surge voltages gets a touch with earthing grid from any type of source then it can damage the insulation of the transformer which is not designed for such type of voltages now for fencing the grid now for fencing the grid should be spread beyond the fencing then connected with the earth electrode which is located at the boundary of the grid. Then connected with the fencing shown in figure. Otherwise, transfer touch potential take place at the fencing during the fault current flowing. Ok, next. Here it is substation earthing system, earthing grid. First one, earth electrode spike. This is the earth electrode spike, vertically buried in the ground. Second earthing conductor. The grid is made is made of earthing conduct, conductor horizontally and uh, x and y axis at x and y axis horizontally. Third riser. From this. This is the riser, this is the riser which is connected to the earth tank isolator uh, structure from the grid and uh, this is the riser, one, one is connected to the uh, tower and one is connected to the earthing shield. Four is neutral, transformer neutral, this is separated. The two neutral is separated from the grid. Fifth, earthing blade of isolator. 
sixth isolator, seven shielding wire, eight auxiliary earth mat. From auxiliary earth mat, the isolator structure is uh, uh, <coughs> get touched from the grid. The isolator frame is connected with the auxiliary earth mat. This is this auxiliary earth mat is uh, installed here to reduce the touch voltage of the human being when he uh, manually operate the isolator. When you op manually operate the isolator, the auxiliary earth mat uh, works is to reduce the touch voltage. Nine frame structure body, nine frame structure body. Okay, next. Here it is. HT substation earthing grid. This is the earthing conductor, the dotted line. Here it is shown by uh, dotted line. This, uh, this is the mesh, earthing mesh. This is earthing mesh. First one is lightning arrestor. Here it is one lightning arrestor. Second isolator. This is the isolator. Here it is two bay. First bay, second bay. Of a substation. Third potential transformer. Fourth current transformer. Fifth circuit breaker. Here it is fifth circuit breaker. Sixth power transformer. Here it is one one. Uh, this is lightning arrestor. Uh, this is uh, connected with the separate earth electrode. The body of the isolator is connected from grid two numbers one two one two and uh, here, here is the body of the uh, PT potential transformers connected from grid and next it is CT the body of the structure is connected with two connection from the grid and this is the breaker this is also connected with two connection from the grid this is ice this is isolator two isolator this is port current transformer fifth breaker all of the structure of the current transformer breaker all of the structure is connected with two ri riser from the grid here is a, again lightning arrestor before transformer lightning arrestor here is the two neutral separated from earth, earth grid two neutral here is the lightning arrestor um, electrode also separate from the grid it is the fencing here it is the fencing the main grid is spread beyond the fencing and here is the electrode earth electrode vertically buried in the ground and connected with the uh, fencing This type of arrangement is done to avoid transfer touch potential. Okay, next. Explaining touch potential, step potential, mesh potential, transfer potential, ground potential, rise, GPR, and earthing system in outdoor substation. 
it is the zero potential line from air to air it is a gpr and this is a vtr vtr means transfer touch potential here is a person touch the panel from outside the grounding system and he get a transfer touch potential and here is a person he uh, touched a, a metal por earthing portion which is not connected with grid then also he get a transfer touch potential VTR he stays on the earthing uh, grid uh, su surface area and touched a metal portion earth metal portion which is not connected with this grid then also he get a transfer touch potential here is the step potential vs and here is the vt means touch potential and here is the person close with the transformer sitting on it he get the maximum touch potential which is called bm maximum touch potential which is called bm this is the maximum touch potential bm this is the curve of VT only touch potential when it is uh, the curve starting from to here then it is VM VM is always greater is equal to VT maximum touch voltage is called VM or mesh voltage ok next For grid conductor, MS rod or GI strip are used. For calculation, the length of the conductor, we shall add the total horizontal conductor's length in X direction and Y direction. Here it is X direction and here it is Y direction. And electrode spike, the electrode spike length, the length should be such that the highest touch voltage means mesh voltage vm uh, vm and step voltage vs should be within toler tolerable limit we can <coughs> say vm is equal to rho into km into kc into ig divided by l and vs is equal to rho into ks into kc into IG divided by L. VM is equal to rho into KM into KC into IG divided by L. And BS is equal to rho into KS into KC into IG divided by L. Rho is equal to resistivity of soil in ohm meter KM geometrical space factor of value 0 0.4 to 0 0.8. It depends upon Number of conductors N, spacing between parallel conductor D, depth of burial conductor of depth, <coughs> conductor of depth H, diameter of grounding conductor small d. Kc is equal to correction factor of value 4 to 2. Ks is equal to mesh factor of value 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 ig maximum grid current in amp l is equal to length of grid conductor in meters more will be the length of the conductor then less will be the value of bm and bs the layout may be modified and clo closer meshes may be adopted to achieve the safe potential Again, touch voltage Vt is equal to 116 plus 0 0.17 rho s. Assume Ts is equal to 1 second. For this, you see, for this definition, you see earthing system part 1. So, the length of the earthing conductor will be such that 
this value will be less or equal to 116 plus 0 0.17 rho s again step voltage vs is equal to 116 plus 0 0.7 rho s assume ts is equal to 1 second for this definition see earthing system part 1 so the length of the earthing of the conductor will be such that rho k s into k c into i g divided by l is equal to or less than less than 100, 116 plus 0 0.7 rho s this is for step voltage and this is for touch voltage rho into k m k c i g divided by l less or equal to 116 plus 0.17 rho s okay next here it is approximate value of different parameter of high voltage and extra high voltage substation here it is high voltage substation 33 by 11 kV and here it is extra high voltage substation 220 by 32 kV area of grid 2400 square mm and, and this is 10000 square mm size of grid conductor 65 into 10 mm gi strip 32 mm dia ms rod gi conductor length 1400 meter and here it is 4000 meter burial depth 0 0.6 meter here is also 0 0.6 meter size of mesh 4 meter here is 4.5 meter Size of riser 50 into 6 mm GI strip and here 65 into 10 mm GI strip. Resistivity of soil 30 ohm, here also 30 ohm meter. Resistivity of soil 30 ohm meter. And upper layer resistivity means uh, <coughs> just below the feet. Upper layer resistivity here 30 ohm meter. And here 3000 ohm meter with application of gravels. Resistance of grid 0 0.26 ohm and 0 0.2 ohm. Highest fault current 7000 ampere or 7 kilo ampere uh, and here 30 kilo ampere 30,000 kilo ampere. Minimum earth electrode required 7000 divided by 500 is equal to 14 and here 30,000 divided by 500 is equal to 60. Highest touch voltage 175 volt and here 475 volt. GPR 0 0.26 into 7000 1820 volt. Here is the GPR 0 0.26 uh, ohms into 7000 ampere. And here 0 0.2 ohm into 30,000 30, 30 cut means 30,000 ampere is equal to 6,000 volt GPR. Okay. If you think the video is useful to you, then please share it to your friends and Please subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching the video. Okay. Meet you in the next part. Part number 6 for, of Earthing System. Bye. Okay. Bye.